Back at the magnificent MCG for Heritage Round Sunday football. That is James Hurd on the left, Richie Vandenberg on the right. The bomber skipper has won the toss. We'll kick to the right of screen as we go down to the boundary for the first time this morning today. But before we do that, Ooh. over to Jim Brayshaw. How are you, Jim? Oh, very nice to be here. It is, Gary. Of course, uh, James Hurd there with a vein in the inside of his leg wouldn't look out of place on Sam Newman. Why? Just, we'll have a look at it in a minute. We'll get Jonesy to fight. the inside of that left thigh. He has got a vein. Look at this. Well, what that, is that, Gary? That is a varicose vein. That's unbelievable. It is quite exceptional. Jeez, he'd be happy about that, Hurdy, us pointing that out. <laughs> Jones, he's got some work to do already. We've sent him one task. He'll be busy all afternoon. He's on the boundary. Hi, Jonesy. Uh, very well, Gary. Gee, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a cold one down here too. There's a good chance it's going to rain, but the worst thing about the day is the wind. We've already seen it rip apart the Essendon banner. There are gale force warnings expected, Gee. and uh, it could really get pretty messy down here on the boundary. Jonathan Hay, he's got a great record on Matthew Lloyd and I expect him to get the job first up. Some cynical people, Gary, saying that the Hawks should maybe stick with that colour scheme. Why? Didn't hear it from me, but... Why? Just a very good-looking combination of colours. Maybe the jumper doesn't quite nail it, but it's Heritage Week, of course, and we're ready to go. Big footy at the MCG. The Hawks and Essendon go at it. Hill high. Johnson at ground level with his head over it, as he has done throughout his career. Hawks through Hodge, bang it forward. Numbers back here for the Essendon Footy Club through Stanton. Steers it to the wing. Too much carry on the footy. Brown's got to get back hard on Essendon's Dyson. And a free kick is going to go Campbell Brown's way. Welcome inclusion back into this side, Campbell Brown. Bit of hardness. Bit of vigour. And already a tackle on the board when some players struggle to get a tackle for a whole game, Gary. Yes, indeed. That uh, is one of his strong points. It is. And the bounce and the run here through the midfield. As Brown looking to go very wide indeed here. Bombers have got the numbers. Lloyd, long way from home to his mate Lucas. What a year this man has had. Got it to within 60. Centering ball. Hill slipped at the vital moment. Allowed Everett time to get there. And the Hawks out of defence. Get the feeling we might see a bit of circle work today, James. This is Lewis bringing it away. Gets the low handball nicely to Smith. He takes a bounce. Inside the 50 go the Hawks. The kick was Great. good. The defensive work even better. And Mark Johnson providing a fierce oh. contest. Now some questionable oh. business with the footy. Allows Vandenberg in. Can walk in and kick the Hawks first. Missed it. Oh. Should have done better. Bad miss. In fact, oh. a very bad start to the game in lots of ways. Ted Richards. Where was he, Bryzer? And that he just went to ground on the knees. Yeah, he just had the arm out rather mm. than the body over in line with the ball, Gary. Was that it, was a bad blue. It's disappointing too because uh, Mark Johnson, courageous effort just prior to that should have set the scene. There he is. The man we're just speaking of, Richards. Three goals nine this year, Richie Vandenberg has kicked and that miss indicative of the job he's had in front of goals today. Here's a man that's improving day by day. Standing, the kick not great. Spider seems to be getting back and filling the hole at the moment nicely. Well, David Hill was down there. He'd be disappointed. It was on his own. Should have got to him. Hay has got the ball. Might have been Slattery before. In fact, it was. As Jacobs now. Further afield. Heard getting on the end of it. Banging it back towards Lloyd. Knocked it down. He'll feed it off here. Surely he does. This is the man. And he misses on this occasion to Stanton. Offline to the left-hand side. And just the minor score, so both teams not getting it done in front of the big sticks. Hey on Lloyd, as was predicted by Chris Jones. Roughhead's got the big job on Lucas. Good kick in from Hodge. Finds the champ Crawford on a long lead. Further afield he goes, and this man's having a good year. Lewis, left foot, steers it to half forward. Crowd has gone forward and done well for the Hawthorne Footy Club. Backward handball, not great. Oh, no. Lewis has his handball smothered. They've messed it up a little bit out here, the Hawks. Johnson can come in and pick it up and pump it long in the Job Watson directions. Taking the mark with Crawford there as well. Watson, a kick and a half from goal. Has not troubled the scorers this year in front of the big sticks. Not that that's What's an issue from here? here. What is going on? Shane Crawford thinks it, uh, he's trying to call someone up to take the mark, Shane Crawford, so he can get back, but no one uh, no one took it. 
Well, eventually, Joe Watson goes hang with on, the low on, pass. Looks like on. Vandenberg is crook, is it? Or it's One of the other umpires has come in and awarding a free kick, oh. I think, for an off-the-ball incident. So it comes back to Crawford. Well, we finally worked out what's going on, Brian. It took us a good five minutes, but uh, well, Croft's got the footy. The reason it took us a couple of minutes is because the umpires didn't know themselves. That half-back, the former skipper, look at the kick. The Macklin to the middle, finding Jacobs, a man in form as well. There's Jordan Lewis. Gary likes his efforts this year. Short ball for the Hawks. Just messing around in the middle, feeding the ball around. Crawford, Smith. At half back, a little evasive footwork there from Smith. The kick is short. I don't think it meant to find Lekas, but it did. Now, I think Lekas, just out of range, will kick it high to the goal square. Good decision. Got a one out contest there. And a free kick to the big man, Taylor. And that's all you've got to do when you've got a man that's six foot eight. Kick it high to him and give him a chance to do his work. Well, an umpire says that he was wrapped up here by Ted Richards. Arms around him. Can't do that, they say. So I would have. Maybe suggested that play on might have been a better call. Come on, both, Gary. Both holding there, I would have thought. Advantage's got to go with the forward, surely, Gary. Well, you know, I tend to lean that way, uh, Brian, as a rule. But uh, anyway, Simon Taylor, it's not home yet, but he should kick this. Punt road in, directly in front. There's a look at it. Looking for the first one of the game here for the Hawks. Off the boot of this man, he squeezed it through. Simon Taylor has kicked his sixth goal of the year. Well, it has started out, I have to be honest, like a 13th versus 16th sort of a game. Let's hope it lifts itself up a bit. The Hawks have had 26 touches already to nine for the Bombers. And if I could just make a suggestion maybe to the, to the Bombers. Shane Crawford's got that look about him today, boys. And I reckon he might be in for some sort of an afternoon. So whoever's got the job of running with him needs to tighten up somewhat. Disposals running at 26 to 9 in favour of the Hawks, and they're doing all the scoring, not surprisingly. Vandenberg, a little left hand handball. Slattery gets it going forward for the Bombers. Now we've got a wrapped up ball in the centre of the ground. Um, I was looking at Crawford. It looks like Andrew Lovett has got the job with him, so the education process continues for Kevin Sheedy's young men, but gee whiz, he needs to tighten up. Spider may have won it forward. Hills hands to Hurd. Fantastic. The champ just high into a nest of Hawks here. And the boundary line, a good result for the Bombers. Pretty, uh, you'd imagine that these two teams will just let their players play this afternoon, Brian, rather than go too defensive. I mean, there's not a hell of a lot at stake. The win is important, but you want to see these blokes just play, surely. Just one-on-one -on -one football. Surely they'll get a chance to play on their merits and not be too restricted by the constraints of what the team are trying to achieve. Everett, and they'll get a better look at the kids that way, Gary. And find out just how good they are. Hurt throwing himself in his attempt to tackle on that occasion Sewell and the short ball with Lekas now. Lekas in the back half and I think the players may be even wondering about the jumpers and looking for the, the brown and gold that's just not there at the moment. Here they are once again. Sewell working the board with a rough head. Short ball finds Hay. Hay looking to run straight at Lloyd and give it over the top. High tackle. Maybe a free kick here to Franklin. I think it will be against Lucas. And half back umpire says, go back and take your kick, young man. And into the slot it goes with rough head. Gets it to uh, Gary's man, Ruffy. Left foot long ball. Jacobs caught at the back. Does very nicely. And hits the ground running. Handball inboard is good. Clark can load up from outside. Long and straight they go. The Hawks to Taylor, who's already got one. And Richards concedes. How many uh, men are you allowed to have on any given um, game? Well, Jim? you've made a trend throughout the year, Gary, of claiming four or five. No, no. Just blanketing a group of talented men in the hope that just, one will bob up. Just one, and I haven't declared him just yet. The Bombers through Welsh from fullback. 11 marks to Hawthorne, just two to the Bombers so far in this game. There's the third, Richards. Good crowd in today here at the MCG. To watch this game between the rivals of the 80s. Mark Johnson finding Watson. I'm going to ask you about this man later, Gary. Watson, I think it's his 11th game of senior football and where he is at right at this moment when we get an opportunity. To Lloyd on the head, Hay. Knocked down. 
on that occasion trying to drag the ball out was Peveril. No win. What do you think, Joe Watson? Well, I'll give you that answer very shortly after we go down to Chris Jones. Tell you what, it's so gloomy down here. They've switched the lights on at the MCG. It's pretty messy down here. Well, it's a scramble in the goal square. Essendon trying to get some clean footy in their forward 50. Unable to do so. Gary, jump in. Well, he's been around for a while. He's had a lot of soft tissue injuries, has um, Joe Watson. And I reckon he's certainly worth another year. He's just got to get that pre-season under his belt. Kevin said he likes his working close. He's got good hands. Just want to see him up and running and nice and fit. Ball in the hands of Campbell Brown. This is Jason Johnson. Got the hook around the body. Lloyd, good, good work from Hay. Did really well. Rough head. Ends up in the hands of Hodge. And he steers it to Osborne. Pumping ball down the line. Going to bounce in open territory. Dixon's out there. Needs some support. Concedes by foot. Needed to be precise, and it was. And Crow took them up. They certainly liked the short game by foot. Hawthorne. Now here is Crawford taking on the speedy lover. Long ball to the tall timber. Got to go in the air, Taylor. Bombers outnumbered. Vandenberg off hands. Remember, not good in front of goal. This one's got the dribble end over end. Hawks get their second. Well, they're dominant at the moment, the Hawks. They want to play a pretty high position game, a style of footy. Well, what they've got to do is get really precise, but that's the pivotal move. Crawford, he's sharp. He looks on today. Lovett's got the job there. Big contest here, two on one. Not good enough. Kepler Bradley had to go back with two hands. The crumb came about because of that. And Richie Vandenberg just dribbled it through. But they are dominant. 23 to 3, the handballs. They are dominant everywhere, Brian. Talked about the possession count at the last stoppage. 23 to 3, the handball count at the moment in favour of the Hawks. So they are getting plenty of the Sharon. There's another one. Spider just pumps it long. Stanton going back with it. Lekas picked his pocket. This is high. Almost a grab there for Osborne. Ground level footy. Taylor worried out of it. Murphy ducked his head. Lekas has got him. Umpire says give it to me. I reckon if you modelled yourself, if they had to model themselves on any team, I'm pretty sure the Hawks are setting up to be Western Bulldog-like. That is, possess the ball a lot, run it hard. They're a long way off that. But that's the sort of game plan that they hope to play. Oh, the possession time right up there as well. Free kick going Essendon's way. High contact. Ted Richards gives the bomber back line a little reprieve. They've been under siege in the early part of this game. Gets it to love it, Murray. Just loping down the wing, waiting for something to come. Sits it up high for Lloyd. Hay with him and a big fist. And then big Jonathan thumps it through, but this is love it. Forward handball, very good. Dyson on the run with the left boot misses. Usually a very good finisher, Ricky Dyson. He's been one of those players that... Uh... Has come on nicely. What about the matchup at the other end? Ted Richards, about 192, Gary, and you've got uh, Simon Taylor, 200 centimetres. Is it yeah. going to work? Well, I guess no, Dustin Fletcher. I don't reckon Taylor's massively imposing up high in the air, Brian, so I guess from that point of view, they'll take a bit of a risk. Hodge, the classy act in the Hawthorne side, without doubt. Roughhead probably should have grabbed that. Lloyd and Lucas supplying each other a bit of ball. Here's Lucas with a low centering kick. Didn't get there in time. The Bombers, Slattery, and the Hawks do it in the back line. Hey, that's a daisical game here at the moment, as Gary's alluded to. Now, here is Crawford. He's getting plenty of it and looking sharp. He's on fire. Jacobs, out wide. Love it, Murray. Kept it alive. Looking for Murphy. Nothing on, so we'll have a boundary throw in. All we'll run, Brian, uh, for the Hawks. They will play on at every opportunity and run hard forward. They'll make mistakes. Wouldn't mind a career kick to handball ratio for Jonathan Hay, Gary. <laughs> Suggesting he doesn't like to boot it too often. And he prefers to go by hand with the prune. <laughs> this is uh, Smith inboard to Hodge, who's been sensational, as Brian mentioned. Long kick forward. Essendon defence again having to work hard. Walsh is a good player. And that is a free kick well earned by Andrew Welsh. Head down there and just uh, an untidy tackle. Sewell got the job on Hurd. Hurd now pushed forward. Stanton at half back for the Bombers. Need a goal just to settle them into the game. Goes in the herd direction. Everett there as well. Just starting to do well. This man, Sewell, as a player on high quality opponents. Over the top to Lewis. This is a good kick forward. Crow 
Inside the 50 go the Hawks with a long ball and a stray one out on the full. So the plan, the plan is for the Hawks, Gary. Chip, chip, half back to wing, bomb long to Taylor. Pretty square. well play on straight away, Brian. And sometimes, because they're not as polished as other teams, they'll get into some trouble. But run, share, and carry. Lucas. Lloyd offers something up the corridor. He ignores that and chips over the top. Watson takes another grab in that area of the ground. He's looking to play on. This is a good kick. Sets up Hurd. Getting back there. Hill. Opportunity. McVeigh couldn't quite run on the word out. Something off the ground. Hill. Bombers get there first. No, that's it. He's playing uh, Peter Everett in an interesting manner. Is David Hill. He's... He's certainly not allowing Spider Everett to go back and just sit across half back on his own. He's following him down there and then becoming a target up forward. Now, this is a good contest between the two. I guess the, you're going to be super critical. The fact that Spider let the ball get over the back created the problem in the end. And ironically, it was his man that kicked the goal. But it looks like he's going to go pretty well one on one with Peter Everett all afternoon. The Bombers have their first off the ground from the Ruckman Hill. There he is on screen. Just got the seven goals for the season. His tally would normally be higher than that. Out of the centre, Hodge will get onto his favoured left. And steer it to half forward very nicely. This is Osborne. Over the top into space, good kick. Dixon probably should have taken the mark. The cavalry arrived now for the Bombers. Welsh, low handball to Kepler Bradley. Awkward kicking style, but generally effective to love it. Look at the speed of this man. Can have a couple of bounces. He's got James Hurd on. Left foot delivery low and very good. Long range. James Hurd called to go. Kick ordinary. And the two Brownlow medalists trade the Sharon. Shane Crawford has it in the back half. You've got no one down the line, so he's going to have to switch direction unless someone pushes into space. I don't know what's going on with James Hurd's kicking, but it was only a couple of Fridays ago, Gary, that he had similar problems with the floater. Be the vein, bro. Yeah, it might be the vein. Speak to Hurdy about that after the game as Jacobs just at the half back area has found his man Loney, who started the day on the bench for the Hawks in their heritage jumpers. What do you reckon of that, Hawks look, fans? Yeah, they look different. Doesn't look, he look different, Loney? Look, look like the umpires. Outfit, I reckon. Crow outnumbered in front. Mark Johnson driven to the ground. The Bombers through Johnson will come out with the ball on centre wing. Likes to take him on with the bounce. Watson looking for running support. Not sure it was the right decision. Mark Johnson made it look better than it was. Now McVeigh, chiselling boy. Hill Mark strongly. And he does deep in the pocket for the Bombers. That was a nice use again, taking Peter Everett forward, or certainly not allowing Peter Everett to play loose. And that's a good tactic. You can't allow the big spider to just do what he wants across half back. If you can go forward and kick some goals. Tough angle here, and he hasn't got a long distance to float the ball from left to right into the goals. He's basically got to get it on the foot perfect and hope it goes straight. Kick looks just that. Hill's got his second. Well, that's uh, throwing down the challenge to your opposite number. To your opposite number, that's for sure. Have to make more of this, the Hawks. They had Mark Johnson all bailed up in that pocket, and he was just through, through some sheer strength, was able to get away. Good kick, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a lovely pass and a nice finish, too, from big David Hill. So early points to uh, the Essendon captain over the, um, well, one of the All-Australian options for first ruck, Peter Everett. All tied up at the G. Hills kicked a couple to drag the Bombers back into it. Over the back, Johnson was good. Peveril can load up. This man, all sorts of space again for Lovett. He can run forward and load up. He can go very long and very straight. That's a terrific result. Well, that was an extraordinary uh, decision by Shane Crawford. He was playing half back on Andrew Lovett and he just drops off him. He just dropped off him and worked into the hole and this is where the ball went. There's Crawford there who backed away from Lovett as soon as the ball was bounced. Essendon one possession, Shane Crawford was sitting 30 metres off him. That was a, that was a very, very poor decision by the uh, former Hawthorne skipper. 
A shootout at the moment between Lovett and Crawford and Hill and Everett. Which mob's going to win out, Gary? Well, Bryce, it's early days, but um, the Bombers are getting their act together. Six-point margin in favour of the Bombers. We've played 18 minutes first quarter. Seven of them left. Murphy normally very, very precise by foot. And look at that. Inch perfect to Lloyd. Too far out for even this great goal kicker of the modern era. Short ball. Dyson on the left. Hurd's caught behind. Crawford in front. Happy to feed the ball wide to Hay. Remember, he does like to give it by hand. <laughs> Refuses to kick it. This man loves it by foot. And why not get it to your best kickers? That's what he's done. And this is Brownie's kid who's got it on the wing. Three goals in four minutes from the Bombers. A blistering burst. Back to John O'Hay. Now this is in where it gets there. a little more <laughs> awkward for the big boy. There we go. He just <laughs> loves to get it off by hand, Brian. We're going to go kick watch with Jonathan Hay today. <laughs> Smith to Crawford, who's had a lot of it. Can't help but be attacking. It's just in his mindset. Long to Crow. Handball sideways to Osborne. 45 out, right foot shot. Never got it coming off the boot properly. And he's missed away to the right. Playing halfback, Frank Crawford in a new role. Eight possessions, uh, only bettered by Luke Hodge with nine. So uh, maybe that might be Shane Crawford's lot in life as a halfback flanker. Now here we go, the Bombers again. Lucas has worked forward and this has allowed Hill some space in the midfield. And now they've got Watson loose, who's getting a lot of the ball at half forward. Dropped an easy mark. Time to regain the composure and send it homeward. Bound! Four in a row for the Bombers! Well, gee whiz, there's some space being given. The Hawks are super attacking, but if they turn the footy over, they've been getting caught on the rebound. Danny Jacobs is up on the wing when this uh, ball rebounded. And that's his opponent there. He's chasing him in at the back, number eight. But um, Joe Botson had time enough to drop the mark, regather it, take a couple of paces, compose himself and kick the goal. Just got to tighten up now, Hawthorne. Four on the board for the Bombers. And they are now in control at the G. Hill <laughs> tried to get a fist in there and missed it, but then thumps it forward cleverly into some space again here, the Bombers. Vandenberg had to stand up. Crawford just knocked up getting the footy. Wide to Clark by hand. Over the top to Richie Vandenberg. Or further afield. And Trent Crowe has it. And vast expanses of the members' wing. Inside the 50. Marking player needed. Big Spider going with just the one arm. Not going to snaffle too many like that, I wouldn't have thought. Great forward pressure, though, from Spider. Excellent work from the big man. Osborne can run around and just made a bit of a mess of it in the end. Got to say, Jim and, and Brian, it's a very, very soft game in this first 20 minutes or so. Three hard ball gets. That is it for the whole day. It is wide open footy here. Pretty. But not that hard at the moment. No. No team wanting to risk their body just at this stage until perhaps it's on the line later in the game. So now staying in touch at the moment for the Hawks because the Bombers are playing some very good football of recent minutes. Jacobs. Back half for the Hawks. Wanting to transfer to the northern parts of the MCG and that concedes back to the goal, defensive goal square when he started that attack on genuine half back. Here's the big fella opened up in the goal square. Oh, he's off. Having a spell on the ball. Look at that. Beautiful movement from the big giraffe. Oh. Handball inboard, Hodge. Got great awareness oh. about him. Crawford, just a bit of Gaelic football about that, Gary, the way he controlled it. Miller to Hodge. Now Hodge long and deep. Franklin, nice. one-hander. Beautiful position on Lovett Murray. Nice. They've got, to, they've got to do something about Luke Hodge, the Bombers. They can't go head-to-head -head with him. He's a rangy kick, this man, but he goes for the short ball, and Dixon on the lead is marked. He's getting too much footy through the uh, through half-back. That is some nice skill there from Lance Franklin. Now, this man here, James, used to be one of the very best kicks in the competition from the set shot. Still got a bit of it in him, Brian. He has. What's with the... Um, don't tell me we're going down the, the undergarment path again. Oh, Trent had it on the last time we were here, Gary. Dixon will line up. 
Here he is, a 76% converter from this position. 13 through the middle, three to the right and one to the left. That is good percentage football. And that is why, because this man Dixon has nursed that through like no other. Uh, he's been a good servant, Ben Dixon, had to play outside of his weight division on a lot of occasions. But I think this is his best position as a leading forward because he is such a nice converter. He'll spend some time on the interchange bench today, come on and off, getting into the twilight of his career. That is a beautiful conversion. Almost from the same spot where he kicked the goal after the siren to yes. Bruce Carlton when uh, Chris Connolly coached in the absence of an ill Peter Schwab. Much needed goal for the Hawks. Al Clarkson looking on. And an interesting year for him. His first at the senior level. High was Hill, but no clearance as yet. Only six ball ups or boundary throwing from around the ground, boys, which indicates again how open this is and how little pack footy there is. You wouldn't be happy if you're, happy if you're a stoppage player today, Gary, would you? But what's no. his going on here, Brian? Well, it looks like he's got a giant python strapped to his leg. Jim, if you don't mind. Well, you know the ones the kids eat from the oh. milk bars, the big chewy pythons. As, uh, this is on the outer side. The Leave it there, Jim, I reckon. Brownie over the top. Very nicely done. To Harry Miller. Forward handball is good. Bouncing in front of Lekas. Snuck the handball back in board. Hard footy needed here. Franklin goes smacking in. That's good play from him. Bit of hardness there. Yeah. Well, that's something that's been lacking in his game, Gary. And I, I thought that was fantastic, Brian. Well, I guess for a young player, as the year rolls on, you get a bit more comfortable in your own skin within this competition. You want to see them doing that. Five point advantage for the Bombers. Here's oh. Harry Clark. Hawks losing ground, but still Who is on this boat. Having on percentage. That's Hodge you're speaking of, Gary. And he's very good by foot. Jacobs almost nailed a piece of it. Here's the man with the body built like no other as he gets it out to Jacobs. The tackle by Bradley effective. And we'll have a ball up in the Hawks forward punt road 50. Luke Hodge, 12 possessions. Shane Crawford, 11. Now, you just got a man up on Hodge. He hasn't got an opponent at the moment. Spider to hook it back into play. Loney was very good. Got the left foot long ball forward. Going to land in the square. Franklin there. But the footy evades him and his direct opponent. Love it, Murray. And that's through for a behind. He's trying to find maybe Ricky Dyson might have been swung onto Luke Hodge, but gee, they're giving him a lot of room. And for someone that delivers the ball so well, it's fraught with danger. Love it, Murray. This is. Sits it up over the top. That's a very nice kick out in front of Peveril. Can get it just inside the field to play. The boundary umpire saying he was over. A couple of the Bombers fans not so sure. Look at that. Top at disposals, Gary. They're playing a high position game, no doubt about that. Uh, but Luke Hodge is not the bloke that you want to zone off and let get some cheap footy. Shane Crawford as well with just the 11. Yes, Lovett's got to tighten up and do some defensive work. Lekas, Hills kicked a couple. Clark. Now Loney. With some room to move. To half forward at the back. Brian's man crowed. Couldn't get the handball away from Kepler Bradley. And it's over the line. The perfect build for a footballer. This man, have a look at that. Trent your, Crowed. Your man. And he is playing some very nice football this year, Gary. The best, I think, in his eight seasons so far. And he's had to assume some responsibility, hasn't he, in the absence of uh, some key players and a lot of youngsters. Everett, some nice work and the Osborne path and Murphy committed himself to the ball. So did this man here, Crowed. Gets it out wide to Loney, who is normally brilliant by foot. And the Hawks have got one there before the quarter time siren. Well, this is just a uh, little bit of a shootout at the moment, gentlemen. No doubt about that. They uh, just wide open stuff, nice skills. Pretty poor from Murphy on that occasion. There's Brian, your boy. Yep. Worked hard. Got it in the hands of Loney. That's a nice finish. So, just a pretty game of footy. Not too offensive. Just some nice little skills on display. Might be in for a bit of a shootout tonight. Today. The Hawks arrest the lead back from the Bombers. Late stages of the first term. 
You like the footy to be in the hands of Loney inside 50. Very good user by foot. No one actually touched the ball. Clark gets a little handball forward. The Hawks trying oh. to step their way through. Jacobs off the side of the boot. Dangerous bouncing ball. Here is Nathan Loney again. Has got it at half forward. Goes further afield. The double fister from Bradley Ooh. when the mark was perhaps an option. Loney's going to get it back again and set the low oh. ball up for Harry Miller. Beautiful delivery. Yeah, don't mind, Jim. What about that? And with that, I'm not being disparaging at all, but this is a sort of game where Nathan Loney will become so very dangerous because he's a beautiful runner, uses it really well, and if you give him room and space, he'll slice it as ribbons. Harry Miller. Hawks to kick a couple in the last minute or so of the term. Got it going oh. in the right direction, but he smacked it into the woodwork. Well, that is uh, Mark Johnson giving young Harry Miller a little bit to go on with on the quarter time siren. But it's the Hawks that hold sway in what has been a very open, free running game. Not sure if Kevin Shooty wants that sort of a setup. Maybe he does. The Hawks seem to be thriving on it. Three points to the margin here at the MCG quarter time. 4 5 29 Hawthorne. The Bombers, 4 2 26. Thank you, Gary. There it is. That man there, Crawford, playing at halfback. He's had a stack of it. Well, it's an un-Clarkson style that Hawks are playing, Gary. He was a very hard at it competitor when he played. Well, I think that's the way that he wants to run and carry. They just got to get, well, both teams got to get their heads over it a bit more. Start of the second quarter. Hawks by half a goal. Hodge, the man that they must tighten up on, says Gary Lyon. And when, when Gary says tighten, you must tighten. As they go forward, Crow, a big push on Bradley, not seen by the umpire. Should have been. It was very, very obvious. Crow to flying shot. Offline by a fair way in the end and just scraped through it for a behind. Now, some of the free kicks that are paid, how could you miss that from Trent Crow? That was a That's big a push. That's a 140 kilo bench press push. Yep. Welsh has the ball and will bring it back into play. Two huddles, Jim. One at, yes. in the centre and one at centre half forward. A couple of targets long. Not going to get to them, though. Look at Joel Smith comes steamrolling in. Handball over the top to Harry M. Can he pick it up? Tight on the line. Goes for the banana. Out oh. in the full. Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if Harry makes his way over to the uh, dugout. Players on in the middle. Not a heap of them, but just the right foot banana off balance running to the boundary. Not a high percentage there, Brian. No. Wanted to have something to tell the kids about. Yeah. Love it. Now, this man here, Gary, got a lot of it in the first quarter, and he's playing opponent directly is Shane Crawford. He also got a lot of it. Three possessions to 11. Was it? Yep. At all. Well, they were very effective at fast <laughs> possessions, Gary. <laughs> He appeared to get a lot of it. <laughs> and he looked very... Oh, I know what it was. He held the ball for a that long time it. because he ran from half back to half. Yeah, he's, he's got it now. There it is. He's just the man at the moment, Gary. Johnson. Well, what has happening, Crawford lets him go up the ground and, uh, well, they've got to use him to try and draw Crawford back because he sits in the hole and then he gets used on the way out so often. So this is part of his education, young Andrew. Love it. Mark Johnson, 21 goals. This year for this man, which is not bad for a small forward, spending some time in the midfield and in the back line for that matter. This one needs to bend a lot left to right, and it's going the other way. But Hill standing tall, keeps it alive. Hey, in they go. They'll force the ball up here, and the umpire won't ping anyone from that position. And Miller, as you rightly pointed out, Gary, taking a spell on the bench with that banana from the boundary line. Chris Jones. Straight onto the phone, Gary. You're a genius. Uh, Harry oh, Miller yeah. straight off the ground and onto the phone and spent about 30 seconds. Hard to work out that one. Ball into Lewis's hands. Tried to steamroll his way through all black style and he's gone. Stanton, the player who is going to turn around and take a shot for the Bombers. Jordan Lewis. Have a look at this. Just tried to wade through Mm. Never actually attempted to dispose of the footy, and that was where his problems began and ended. 
He's been good, this boy, too, the last uh, six weeks. Should go from here for the Bombers and give them back the lead. Shot on goal is there. Bombers get the first of the second two. Yes, he's, he's taken a step forward in his footy. No doubt at Brent Stanton. Been given a bit more responsibility too, which is always uh, some sign of confidence. I'm sure what Jordan Lewis was doing. Yeah, prior opportunity, he just took it to ground and made no real attempt to get rid of the footy. So, good decision. Nice finish. Bombers hit the lead. Still a uh, pretty open sort of a contest. Damien Peverell leading the bomber bench there. Welsh amongst it as well. And here we are with a two-point ball game. Gary and James not liking what they're seeing, but I tell you what, a close game for me any time. And that's what we've got here at the MCG at the moment. Me, I'm Brian. into it. Well, I'm with it. I wasn't. And I like it. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said it's a very open game. Hodge from the middle of the MCG. Crowed on a fast lead. Left Bradley in his slipstream. What about Luke Hodge? This is the reason, Brian, where you, why especially you can't give him time and space with the footy because he's too good. All you've got to do is point these days and he'll go and put it out there. You've just got to tighten up. It's an extraordinary Now this situation. is only a 40-metre kick, a 45-degree angle. There it is there. He is eight goals, eight from his set shots. Opportunities this year. Very close to the man on the mark that he was able to smother it. That's not well thought out from a professional footballer, whether you are capable or not in front of goals. Franklin, and that'll be out of bounds. Not sure what you do during the week, Brian, whether you've got an allegiance to anyone else, but it might be time for you to get down to talk to your boy about his goal kicking. Is it a possibility? Sure that he would know exactly what he did wrong on that occasion, Gary, and wouldn't need you to come down and tell him you, that. You, I said. Your boy. Boundary throw in. Ford half for the Hawks. Unless you've got something else. Into the hands of Sewell, who's been good. Off to Vandenberg, closing in on 50. Long ball forward from Richie, but he's missed. And he has had a couple of misses. Well, you get what you get with Richie Vandenberg is just hard at it, hard running. Um, one of the sacrifices. He's not the most polished finisher in the game. Well, he's the double huddle again. Allowed a let off for the Bombers. Welsh will go short. Fair to say they didn't nail the double huddle earlier. Get it to love it, Murray. It'll go back to Welsh. So they didn't gain much here. Over the top is McVeigh. He's still on. He's ignored. Still working on the double huddle, I think. Yeah, they got some numbers out. The members' side now. But straight to Loney. So this double huddle, <laughs> a work in progress. I think it's all right at the Dome, but here where there's a bigger area, I think it's perhaps not as effective. Right? And they did use it at the Dome well, last week. It was good. Yeah, and also a bloke called Fletcher was kicking in. Right? Yep. Loney, long ball forward. Taylor with a big climb at the back, Osborne. Down to Clark, dispossessed. Osborne gets it back again. Hard work now for the Bomber defence. Taylor was sensational. Hodge picked it up and missed, but I think a free kick is going to go the Bomber's way, is it? No, no. free kick going for the Hawks. No. Taylor. The big man has already got one on the board. He's got a free kick in that, well, that congested um, passage of play there. He couldn't quite pick out what it was for. Can only be holding the ball, Gary. Yep, he didn't dispose yeah, of it. Didn't hit his foot. Gee whiz. He attempted to. Oh, big Simon Taylor. Attempt's not a good enough anymore, Gary. No, appears to not be the case. Kicked the first goal of the match for the Hawks. 67% accuracy he's working on from this point, so he's... Reasonable in front of the big sticks. Oh, it's on. Pushing and shoving, and James Hurd involved. Vandenberg there as well, but we'll take a look at Taylor from behind. Set shot. And it's there. The Hawks bite back. Yeah, let's not forget there's some history between the uh, two line in the sand teams. James Hurd in the middle of that. He's a bit fractious at the moment. And it still goes on in the middle as we look at the replay, but the action in the middle at the ground here. James Hurd in amongst it. Just keep, keep an eye on this next centre bounce contest. The Miller in there. Hodge in there for the Hawks. Couple of hard nuts. 
Just a goal for goal game we've got going on here at the MCG. And the Hawks kick the last of those. Taylor's got a couple. And look at them out of the middle. This man Hodge is oh. good by foot and he finds Dixon. Only 50, surely. Couple of bangs from pillar to post there, Dixon. Stefan Grum, the umpire, in to just stamp his authority on this. What about Hodge? I mean, this man, I'm not sure what price he is for the Brownlow, but he just keeps getting the footy boys. Is this not 50? Oh, no, he bounced off of his own teammate. But he's on fire, Luke Hodge. Mark Johnson, his opponent at the moment. Well, Dixon can make it four out of the last five goals here for the Hawks. And look at the accuracy rate. 73% converter from this position, and why not? And there is another one to go with it. Two for Dixon, two in a row for the Hawks. Brian, that kick to a forward was as nice a kick as I've seen for a long time. It had depth. Nice hit from Peter Everett, too. Followed up his work, Spider. Hodge gets it back, and this spot up here, that is just perfect. Absolutely perfect. Mark Johnson, 150 games. If your man is Luke Hodge, well, you need to tighten up right now. Hawthorne out to an 11-point lead, and Dixon's got a couple. Wide open style of footy. Everett got the hands on it. Lewis wrapped up by Hurd. And again, the push and shove continues. It's just starting to... Uh, there's a little spark at the moment, um, Jim. Mm. Something might go and just set it off very shortly. Spider got a little hand in there. Hurd went without it. Hill's handball over the top to Watson. Jacobs picked his pocket. The Hawks steam forward again. High ball for Dixon. Taylor in the area as well. Slattery did okay. McVeigh and now Johnson, and they can marshal it from the back half, the Bombers. Wide for Dyson. And over the top he goes. And that's okay for Bullen. So Essendon into the wing position. Kepler Bradley, further afield to Lovett Murray. Can have a bounce, he can go all the way. Long from Lovett Murray. Thank going you. all the way. Thank and that's a goal. That is a beautiful finish by Nathan Lovett Murray. Just polished and full of class in the end. It's a little shimmy here. He looked like he might have gone back the other way. Osborne bought it. He's kicked that from inside the centre square. It's gone through well, with two or three metres to spare. So that's a beautiful finish. His foot is certainly coming along very nicely. Just full-on attack here at the MCG at the moment. Two goals apiece in the second quarter. And back in the middle. Hill and Everett. Everett winning that one. Hodge trying to get on the end of it. Vandenberg just worked it forward with a little kick along the ground. Here's Lekas. Feed it back to the skipper. And the drawing handball over the top is very good. To this man, Hodge. Got it again. On his non-preferred. Have a look at that. Dixon is marked within 10 metres of the goals. It's one of the more dominant displays I've seen from a player in a long time. Well, Gary, when will they get someone to go and stand next to him and go with him? Because I looked at the centre ball up and it never happened. Well, it's Mark Johnson's his opponent. And we've got 13 minutes still to go in the second quarter and he has got 18 possessions. It is incredible. Ben, and every one of them hits a target. Ben Dixon for his third goal. About 10 or 15 metres out from goal. There's the angle. Just got to nurse this one through. Get enough purchase on it that it goes straight, and he does. Dixon's got three. Well, by Luke Hodge, birthday card, Ben Dixon. If you're a forward for Hawthorne, Hodge gets the footy, your eyes light up. Non-preferred foot, as you call, Brian. And as equally good a pass as the one that uh, hit Dixon on the chest about a minute or so earlier, so... You can have all out attack, but at some stage you've got to bite the bullet and say, right, oh, Peveril, get out there, get on the hodge and do your stuff. Luke Hodge putting on a clinic at the G. 18 possessions, and we're not even at half time yet. Hill out of the centre. Jacobs just decides to slap it out of the air. 
Spider lurking, clean bowl. Good tackle though on Stanton. Rag dolls him, to uh, Johnson. Long forward looking for Lloyd. He's struggled to get into the game. At the back, this is Roughhead. And he gets the handball away to Smith. He can do the quarterback thing from halfback and steer the Hawks out of trouble. Good kick too. Down to Crawford. Open footy. Just refusing to man up at the moment. The Bombers. Clark has it. Has to stop and wait. Gets around and steers it to half forward. Open running stuff. Vandenberg this time with a shot. And that looks better. The Hawks have got another one. Well, when you've got a side that's prepared to run, and that's what Hawthorne are doing at the moment, they bring on Clark to run whoever it is off their legs. Vandenberg runs hard. We know Crawford does. Hodge works hard. Um, Loney's running hard. Well, your opposition, if they're not in the hunt for September, it asks the question, how hard do you want to work for a victory that's not going to make perhaps all that much difference? And right now, they don't want to work that hard, the Bombers. Look to be hungry. The Hawks at this stage, 17 points in advance of the Bombers with 11 minutes remaining in the first half. Hill, what can the Bombers do? They've responded on all other occasions so far in this game. Oh, Vandenberg. Spider Everett with a handball out and open it up and Crow, beautiful knock on. Could play the Hawks. They've got a sniff and they're running forward now. Love it, Murray. Jason Johnson. Love it, Murray again. Quick kick, Dyson. Free kick, love it, Murray. And the advantage will be paid as Mark Johnson from half-back steers the ship. In board he goes with a tumbling one. Nicely steered to Stanton. Has a bounce. Now he's got to use it well. Has another one. Tries to draw a player. Can go himself. Run down from behind. Too far. Too far. Now, uh, Luke Hodge has gone out of the centre to go to the back flank. Crawford's come onto the ball, so they're resting like the old days. A ruck rover that changes on a back flank. Franklin, a great chase and tackle. And he goes to Jacobs on the other side. You take the bounce, Gary. You've then got your forwards out of position. Yep. Crawford on the outer side. To half forward. Here's Brian's man, Crow, just with the one juke, but he's earned a free. Over the top, Trent Crow looking for Dixon, not going to get to him. And Henry Slattery didn't get back and balance Crody then. He was still taking steps backward as he tried to kick the ball forward, and it just fell that much short. Lucas on the bench, boys, just four touches. James Hurd, just three touches. Bradley, bombers under the pump, big time. Dixon! He's got four in the first half, Dixon! Ah, it's a great effort, Ben Dixon. Well, uh, presented well as a forward, now also working hard the back after. Just a bit lost now. That is untidy play. Too much, uh, too many mistakes from Essendon. Dixon on the non-preferred. It's a lovely snap. I reckon they've run Essendon off their legs here. They've really run them hard. And their two big guns, Hurd and Lucas, have not looked like getting a sniff. Ben Dixon, four in the first half. And the Hawks out now to a good lead. Smith, been quietly effective to Lekas. Hawks have kicked five of the last six goals. Lekas doesn't get it over the head of Lovett Murray. Going to have to go back and get it again. This is Crowed. Low tumbling Mung. And Slattery, the only player who's ever going to take that. Got the handball to Welsh, back to Lovett Murray. The Bombers need to regroup a little mentally here. Dyson over the top. Murphy through the centre. Got Hill on at centre half forward. The kick goes in that direction. And there is the big body of Hill. Off to Stanton. Can use Hurd by hand. Chooses not to. Ooh. Numbers though with the Bombers. Love it. Sits it up high, but all the Hawks back here. Hay couldn't take the mark. Joe Watson. Got the handball away. Hill, high flying shot on goal, inaccurate. And Crawford took the mark anyway. So, wasted opportunity there for the Bombers. Hodge 
Looking to work the ball back in quickly before the Bombers could regain their positions after that attack. Look at the run, Brian. And it's worked for them. Here's Campbell Brown. Ooh. Over the top, handball was not good. Looking for Clinton Young. Bradley's now got his head and eyes over the top of the ball. Good handball. Finds his man there and Watson and Lovett and Dyson all combining for the Bombers as they bring it up from the halfback area. Have a look at this. Opened up for them. Stanton. Got to like this young man. Closing to the punt road end with a low ball. Hurd marks. Plays on. The classy James Hurd has saved the day for the Bombers. Well, we have to point the finger at Campbell Brown back here. Ran with a footy. Instead of kicking it hard into the goal square where they got a winner in Dixon and Taylor's going OK, he handled to a stationary target. And then this is just class. That's a hard footy to mark. Float up. He just makes it look so easy. James Hurdy has had a very, very quiet day for his lofty standard. Just four touches. Let's go down to Chris Jones to the boundary. Luke Hodges come off with 18 touches, a well-deserved break, but they kicked the goal, the Bombers, just as he came off and dropped his head. He was disappointed. He's had a super start to this game, no question about that. Much-needed goal from the superstar, James Hurd. Leckis got it to Rees. Love it, was very good. Comes away with the ball. Here's James Hurd starting to get involved. As he so often does when his team's in trouble. Over the top to Lloyd. Had a couple of goes at it. Hay thought about the handball. Now it's a disputed ball. Lloyd over the top of it. Rees tries to strip it away. Johnson pounds him into the turf. Osborne. To Everett. Wider still to Young. Tries to outrun Hill. Did okay in the end, and the Hawks right. step around the great southern stand wing. Crawford back to Franklin. Franklin, the left foot long ball. Dixon and Taylor line up. Crowed there as well. Can Trent keep it in? He's done his very best. Loney in board to Miller. Miller can kick a goal for the Hawks, and he has. Oh, that's exciting footy. What about the running on the other side of the ground from Lance Franklin? He's taking a long time to get back to his spot. I'm not surprised. This is just extraordinary running here from the young man. That was about his third effort involved in that passage of play. Just good awareness to keep the ball alive here from Crowden, then Loney. And then Harry Miller, who had a spell on the bench because he went for the impossible goal earlier. And he's well within his rights to have a snag at that one. Harry Miller comes from the bench. Hodge sat down. Miller went on and gold within a minute of he being on the ground. And the Hawks in this quarter have kicked six goals to the Bombers three. In the middle, Wendelik trying to extract the ball. Seven minutes remaining in the quarter. Peter Everett doing some lovely tap work at the minute. The midfield for Hawthorne certainly benefiting that from that. A lot of players around this ball. Everett, there is that tap work on show. This time, Peveril just high-balling one in hope, and Campbell Brown happy to sit under it and absorb any punishment that was going to come his way. And that's the benefit you get from that. Here's Clark, a running machine, this man. Long ball. Dixon, good body in front. Oh, Slattery was front and centre. It was indeed by Reese, and he got the benefit of it. Snuck the little handball out and had a shot at goal and missed it. Good pressure, isn't it, um, from the Hawks at the moment? Working hard offensively and defensively. The old Bombers have got a lot of big-name players down at the moment. Just the old uh, jacket on the goal line players just wrapped him up a little there, Brian. He's gone to ground the flag waver. Still got the decision right, which is the important thing. Ted Richards has Top. taken the mark. Part of the heritage strip, of yes, course, the goal line players. To McVeigh and... Now, Cartledge on the wing. Goes in the herd direction, worried out of it. Campbell Brown, the man you praised a moment ago, Brian, for doing what he's always done, and that's sticking his head over it, over to Roughhead. Steers it nicely to Loney, has had a lot of room to move in this game. 
Left foot ball to Crow. Look at the delivery from Loney. Crow's dropped to sit it. Goes back and picks it up. Just pumps the high ball forward. Taylor stuck under it. Got the hands to it. The man Brian Brandon, a giraffe. Overcomes Johnson to try and lend some assistance. Jacobs comes pounding in. Cartledge there as well. They've had their problems back here, the Bombers. Rees tries to go back to Miller by hand. He's wrapped up by Stanton. And over the line goes the footy. Good play. There's a shot at the new scoreboard, Gary, that they're trying to get ready in, uh, in readiness for that last day in September this year. And not far off, the uh, MCG believe it will be ready and functioning come grand final day. Best sporting ground in the world, Brian. No question about that. Up goes Taylor in his attempt to knock the ball down. And no Gary there. just praising the MCG. It's a lovely arena. I think it's lovely. going to be the best in the world. No question about that, Brian. We're privileged to be here. Yeah. Look at that possession time for the Hawks. They are uh, dominant at the minute. They are indeed. As Lovett tries to work on the ball. McVeigh now. Young hanging around the fringes there. And Lovett went and got it again. This time the handball back to Smith. A good user by foot. Everett's got it within range if he wants to play on. He'll go the long ball. Big spider from 52 out. Hasn't got the journey. They fly Dixon at the back. Keeps it in play. Does he? I thought it was through for a behind myself. The umpire said it to go on. And the Hawks a chance here. Free will go Essendon's way. I thought it had crossed the goal line anyway. As Dixon and Welsh shape up in the background there, you can see. Well, have a look at it. Is it over the line? Tough to see from that angle. It has to be. Oh, could have been a good decision by Brian. I don't okay. think so. To Richards. <laughs> okay. Thumping handball further afield. That's okay to Ricky Dyson. Johnson. But Jacobs coming hard at him. Johnson focused on the footy. Joe Watson over the top cleverly to Johnson. Johnson inches it forward. Numbers here for the Bombers. Can they keep it in? Matty Lloyd running snap on goal is there. Well, the Hawks have had all of the play and have been dominant. But you get a feeling if the Bombers... If uh, Matthew Lloyd has had just five touches and kicked his first goal, James Hurd has had just five touches, Scott Lucas has had just four, and also you've got uh, Peveril in all that is a pretty prolific ball winner. So he's had three touches. If these blokes start to get busy and find some of the footy, well, they're still in it. Well, Lloyd managed to kick the goal, Gary. But we're just going to sneak a look in a moment just to see whether it was out of bounds. A la Wayne Harms or Ooh. not. Not as much riding on it, Gary, but we will have a bow peep when we get the opportunity. Brown smashing in. Hodge had his little spell on the bench and back out there. Stanton advancing the ball. They're down 17 here, the Bombers. Here's Hill. Got his man under the ball. Sewell saves the day. And the kick needs to be good, it is. The run of Vandenberg and the run of the Hawks vital here. What can they free up in the midfield for Richie to hit? Good push. It's a beauty. Look at this man make ground. Boy, not many would have got to the half volley of that <laughs> like my man Crow did. Bradley out the back door. And have a look at the little window down here as we watch to see whether Lloyd went out of bounds or not as the play goes on. We're actually watching Campbell Brown with a pretty sore jaw. This is Lloyd now with the ball. Over the top to Stanton. From outside the 50, he can load it up and kick it long to the square. Marking options here. But John O'Hay, the huh? handball machine, has taken the mark back there. And over the top he goes to Brownie's kick. Man. Look at him have three bounces through the centre. Steering oh. kick to Lekas was very good. Harry Miller's run off. He'll go with the low one. And here comes Crowe, Brian. Oh. Outside the 50, and he just slows things down with the ball in one hand just to say, look, it's been frenetic. Let's just back off a little here and get it right. Absorb a bit of camera time. That's it. <laughs> yeah. What about the rebound from the Hawks here? Up through the middle of the ground. I reckon this is uh, Campbell Brown. We don't quite see it there, but he's, he only knows one way, Campbell Brown, and that is straight at the footy. And it's a little bit sore around the jaw at the minute. Trent Crowe from long range and again he kicks it into the man on the mark young can come in and try and make a contest of it held when he didn't have it 
Crody was spectating a little and therefore wasn't involved in the contest. And we got a wrapped up ball. It's a fierce jumping by Crody, but he, he went a bit early. <laughs> Here's Campbell Brown, bottom left. You see. Uh, no, I know. Just a bit of a push. Well, that, that was the incident where he's a bit sore on the jaw. So it didn't appear to be anything in it at all. The history between those two in the uh, line in the sand game, Gary. Free kick here. Wood, Advantage, it? Hodge sets him alight. Dixon on the march here. Everett's there. Look at Lekas gliding in. Got it to Spider McVeigh, trying to worry them out of it. Here's Richard. He was stripped of it. McVeigh there to mop it up, though, and spot up Peveril wide. Pursued by Loney. Needs support from Walsh Peveril. And there it is, the run, the knock forward now. Peveril's got to go! Put his head over the ball and Brownie said, I want to have a second oh, go at hey. you. Line in the sand, could be drawn again. Oh, Price swings with the right. And Campbell says, we'll go over that, young man. <laughs> <laughs> they end up with the ball, though, the Bombers. Johnson steering to Murphy. Well done, Sewell. Got across there. The game's lifted a couple of cogs. Stanton, standing start, shot on goal. And the boos from the Hawthorne supporters, I think that they... I don't know if there's a free kick against Campbell Brown either out on the centre wing. He seemed oh. to go hard at the footy. And that's all he did. He didn't get him in the head at all. Got but him in the side. Umpires are just worried at, about any physical contact in our game. And if we don't stop this, it's going to destroy the fabric of what our game is about. Yeah, I think that's a poor decision for mine anyway. I really do. But a nice goal by Stanton. And the Bombers are coming. Don't worry about that. Bombers back in business here, 11-point margin nearing the half-time break. Look at Hodge involved, Crawford, look at that! That's basketball, give and go! <laughs> That's just good stuff, oh. and my man Brody is stood and delivered! <laughs> now, the last two kicks, oh. this man has kicked into the man yeah, on the mark. Oh, good if I was Trent here, oh, and I knew I was going to go the journey, I'd be just giving myself an extra three or four metres from the man on the mark. Well, he's certainly done that. He's just marked it out. Ben Dixon coming down to offer a little bit of advice, a little bit of encouragement. He'd have the wobbles, Brian, I think it's fair to say, as he walks in here. He'd be a little bit toey. It could be good, though, because the focus won't be necessarily on the straight kick. It'll be just getting it onto the boot and getting it over the man on the mark. 81% well, converter. Well, that would be a start, I'd reckon. Here he goes, Trent. Got plenty of room this time. Kick on the way is lovely. That's it, my young man. <laughs> Trent, oh, look at him. Oh. He's excited. I'm excited. <laughs> just taking it a bit far, Bryzer, I think. Lovely finish. He's worked hard. He's presented well. And there's a bit of niggle continues here. Yes, I tell you what, this is not far from just setting off, I reckon. The Bombers have been, they've come back very hard. Kipper Bradley just lost his positioning. Richie Vandenberg goes after Mark Johnson down the back of the square as Brian's boy. But this is the one that might just go off any time. A seven goal to five second turn. The Hawks on top. And it's just getting a little nasty. A only, little down and dirty. It's only a flicker away from setting off, believe me, Jim. Late stages. Oh. First half. Jason Johnson. Oh, watch, watch Vandy just here. Pumped it high. Whoa. Jacobs got in there with a fist. There's Campbell Brown and there's Stanton who's been good. Back to Lucas who's done nothing but this could count. Left foot. the thing isn't it that the Hawks that the sorry the Bombers are only 11 points down with 10 seconds to go and Lucas and Lloyd and Hurd have done virtually nothing so that is the thing that the Bomber supporters would hold on to as we go to the halftime break very shortly but they certainly work their way back into the game very well set up for a big second half might be a little bit more in it in the second half Kevin Sheedy, in his 25th year of coaching, I think he's got a bit jittery about the little bit of uh, narkiness in this well, game. I think he's enjoyed it, um, Brian. I there think he, he said that's what we needed. He loves it. He was involved in it as a player. He loved it as a coach. And here in his 25th year, enjoying it. Out of the middle, the Bombers have got time with the mark. Won't get there. Yes, it will. Let us. Oh. oh, now the siren went before it was in the hands, but I think the umpire is going to pay it. He is. 
is. It takes a bit of time noise to travel, Brian. You know that? Oh, yes. So. Oh, I think the siren went before he marked it. I'm not sure myself. But Gary, there was only a split second in it. Who, who better to have it outside 50? Let's have a listen. Oh, good oh. decision, Brian. Oh. Good decision. Oh, jeez. All right, here we go. 11 <laughs> points. Lucas, the man that can get it done from the long distance. We saw Egan yesterday not get the oh, job done. Right. Nothing. This one has fallen short. Jeez. And just the needle. And it's on. In the pocket. Here so they I go. Told you, Brian, it was going to go. Look at the lead boy. Oh, look the at the crowd. Use the crowd. Here's the blue. Look They're at loving it, Kevin Gary. Brown just in there. And this is just nice as we go into the halftime break. Whoa. Brownies boys in there. Lloyd, there's history between the two of them, Brian. Oh, there's plenty oh. of line in the sand being drawn out there. There's a whole sand pit. Look at Crody. There at the back, Lance Franklin. And Bradley, the two young boys go on. <laughs> Who's the rangiest here? As Dixon steps in. <laughs> it's Ruffy. erupting at the MCG. <laughs> Ruffy's there. And this is on here at the MCG. Do not leave the room. Oh. Because yeah. it's going to happen on the other side of the half-time break. Go and a get yourself a cup of tea, Bryce, and sit up in front of the fire for the second half. A mini fracker! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Well, well, let's get to the half-time break. Let's just take a couple of deep breaths as James Hurd gathers the troops. Right now, it is the Hawks that hold an 11-point buffer, but don't go away. We will be back with a big Jeez. second half on Sunday Football. Start of the second half. Hawthorne by 11 points. Be interested to have a look at the Campbell Brown replay in super slow-mo again. The line in the sand game, Brian, he was reported got four weeks for striking Windelick on that occasion. So... Uh... Have a look. This is quite extraordinary. Campbell Brown at the bottom. And look, also got the face of Matthew Lloyd. A couple of little right round arms in there as well. He's in trouble. It's as simple as that. Well, he is. If, 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 if you're saying that, Jeez. he could be out for four years. Listen to Brian. Well, he'll have a bit hanging on it. The point system from last year will count for this year. And Campbell Brown is going to be... A little nervous as he awaits the outcome of that in the next 24 hours. Johnson, lunging attempt by Lewis was good. Lovett Murray and Lovett combining. Through comes Lekas. Lovett again. Tried to squeeze it out. Lewis, happy to hold it in. He'll be penalised here. That's sucking the ball back in, I thought. Now, uh, earlier in this game, Campbell Brown, remember, cop one to the jaw, off the ball. It was, uh, we didn't get as much in it. And Matthew Lloyd was the man on that occasion. So maybe that's why he went after him with such a vigour and intent. Well, there's a fair bit of mongrel built into the package too. You've only got to look at the old man to know that uh, the heritage is there, Gary, for just <laughs> some nasty business. It Big was, Mal was uh, among the very best. and You don't often see that uh, sort of stuff from Campbell. We love the way he plays we and goes it. about it. But... Um, might not be the most free kick picked out here and it's going to go big spiders way yes it is anyway let's focus on the footy the team just settled down here and uh, there's a game to be won we'll get back to the blue at some <laughs> spider goes to jacobs and jacobs nicely steered to crawford over the top he goes that's a good kick and crowed in some space been lots of space available today crowed with a thumping long ball sneaking at the back buddy franklin taylor was very good this is a difficult handball for hodge to do anything with essendon having to work very hard in the back half the hawks can reload out of all of this oh well done hill came in and made a very good contest of it and the bombers through jason johnson can get the ball going forward Everell. Gets the handball Stanton's way. Kick across the body. Lucas with a big climb. Jacobs was very good. He was indeed. Hey, there's another little handball out the back. Yet to have a kick. Had a, quite a few handballs, this man. We're going to be looking for his first kick of the ball today. That's Jonathan Hayes. Vandenberg 
at half back with a sloppy effort to work it forward. Bolton started on the bench. Sewell goes to ground, recovered well. Good play. Sewell there as the Hawks maintain possession. The skipper, a long searching handball, found his man. Lekas round the corner. Harry Miller. Opportunity here. No one could get near him. Steering ball, great composure. Franklin. Well, they're just going to keep attacking Hawthorne. They have to keep running. That's the way they got out to a pretty handy lead early in the piece. Is just run the footy, and that is where the Bombers have looked most vulnerable. This young fellow, he's had a good first year in footy. Don't worry about that. He has to play in the big posts when you're about six foot five or six. There's no possible way you're going to sneak under the guard of opposition clubs. So he and Rapid have had good years, set themselves up for long careers. And that's a nice finish. Exciting to see young players playing on Gary and taking the game by the throat. It's the way to go about it, I think, for this Hawthorne unit. Franklin with the first goal of the second half. Beautiful out of the centre from Spider. Got it down to the man of the first half, Hodge. Look away handball, not great. Watson, this is. Again, Jacobs out pointing Lloyd. Did it very nicely, too. Just nudged him under the footy. Just taken his eighth mark. And there's the man we discussed earlier, Campbell Brown. Ooh. Dangerous kick, this one. Well, well done. Rough hit. Against man. Heard. Just starting to stand up for the Hawks, these youngsters. Brown at centre-half back. This is the skipper. Worked hard. Vandenberg. Around he goes, and the thighs of Crow just pumping as he got to the footy. Too far out, you sense. Goes with the low one. Beautifully done to a man who's got four already on the afternoon, Dixon. Well, you go back to the back half here, and while it was a bit ugly and a bit scrappy at times, by sharing the footy around, eventually it opened up for them. They took a little bit of a risky one in the middle. They were able to keep the footy pretty central. And then the young men doing the job beautifully at the moment. And Trent Crow, I reckon he's... Uh, you've got good reason to be so excited, Brian. Ben Dixon. From 40 out, and that's the angle ahead of him. For goal number five of the afternoon, that was always going to be narrow. Sneaks it through for a behind. When you've got Lloyd Lucas and Hurd in the team, and the Hawks have essentially got youngsters, you wouldn't think that Hawthorne lead marks inside 50, 10 to 4. Dixon's taken four of those. They've been more dangerous up forward. Love it, Murray to Bradley. The Bombers have got to find something in this third quarter because... The Hawks are just hanging it at about that three-goal margin. And they need to get it down to even a one-goal game at, say, three-quarter time. Not a high-scoring affair here so far, even though we've had pretty much full-on attacking footy. Crawford out wide, got a lot of it early play on. Play on, Brian. Look at the recovery from Crawford. Here he is. Buddy Love near the boundary line. Keeps it in. No, he didn't. Umpire blew the whistle. And that uh, boundary up pile is a long, long way behind. And Lance Franklin questioning that decision by the, the boundary umpire there. Essendon has won its last 10 matches against the Hawks by 41 points. That is a remarkable statistic. Richards, who's had the job on the taller Taylor all day. Mark Johnson sets Winderlich free over the top here's love at the speed on the wing gary this is what i like about this young man took them on as well then by foot couldn't quite get it done jacobs look at the rebound here everett and smith you sense the ladder's going to end up the footy no spider snuck in and took it away he goes with the left foot kick to the hot spot hawks players involved dixon one of them slapped it Essendon's way in the end, and Bolton was just able to wander in and take the ball. Love it. Just with the one hand. Oh. Winderlich went to ground and got a push. Oh, dear, oh. Thought about the handball over the top to Watson. Now he gets it to Love it. He can't spin out of trouble. Watson and gone. Well, they just... Uh, when they got James Hurd and Matthew Lloyd sitting down there in the goal square, boys. Why would you muck around with a footy like that when you're at centre-half forward? It is a staggering thing in footy. Two of the greatest players of the modern era, and you can't get the footy to them.
Now, Smith has found some ground. He's got the loose man, Clark, over the top. He goes there immediately. Now, Clark is not great by foot. Let's see if he can get it done here. It's an important kick inside 50. Got to find someone. Sits it on the top of the square. Let's the big boys, Franklin! It was a great kick to advantage by Clark. Indeed. Cops a bit of a bum rap, does uh, Tim Clark about his kicking, but Hawthorne rate him so highly, he sits in their leadership group. Sort of an impact he has there at the footy club, and his work rate is exceptional. And this fellow here, and I love it, Murray's had a pretty good couple of weeks as a half-back, but he's got his hands full. He is a prodigious talent. 18 goals for the year, and here he is. An easy shot. Punt road end, 35 out directly in front. Buddy Love to bang the big ball home that he couldn't quite get done. And that is offline. That's a bad miss. A big build-up, too. Mm, let's go down to Chris Jones, boundary side. Well, they're one man down the Hawks, it seems. Michael Osborne, I mentioned that he had a lower back problem. He didn't come out from the rooms after the half-time break. Now the double huddle back in play here hasn't quite worked for them, but it looks like it will on this occasion. You take it personally, Gary, as a commentator, if you give someone a big build-up and they don't deliver for you. Yeah, you tend to be down on them for yeah. the rest of the day. Nathan Buckley, last week for me, just oh, I really got a message for you from me. Nathan Buckley, too. Love it, Murray, through the centre. Looking for and finding Hill. That was fantastic. Handball off. This man's dangerous by foot. Long-range expert can unload from outside of the arc, but has missed. Uh, with Matthew Lloyd struggling at the moment, having only just kicked the one goal, I reckon Lucas to the goal square at full forward. He's played that position so well over the year. you are going to try and get him into the game somehow, Matthew, uh, Scott Lucas. That's what you get, just a taste of what you get. If your team's in trouble and you just come to the commentary box, Gary is able to pinpoint something for you. And if that can happen, Gary, we would like to see it. Clark down the corridor. Beautiful kick. Dixon, couple of bites. Don't think he held it up by us that he did. Well, once again, it's Tim Clark, who the last couple of times has set up shots at goal. Just the run. Just see how they went down the middle of the ground, Brian. Central. He may have been very lucky here too, Ben Dixon, I think. Oh, oh no, no, no. The second grab, he had it a bit, didn't he? Yep, did enough for sure. All right. Now, let's have a look at this young man. He's kicked four goals today. He has been a power of strength up forward this quarter. 18 to 4, the marking department for the Hawks. Amazing stat as Dixon comes in. There's the challenge confronting him. Punt road right in. That's gone a little right. Unusual to drag the ball in that area. And just the minor score for the Hawks. Well, two bad misses for Franklin and Dixon. Could have opened it up nicely for Hawthorne here in the third quarter. You know that Essendon at some stage will keep, will come back at Hawthorne. Love it, Murray. Whoa, that's uncertainty. The double got huddle. It's got a Wendelik on short. Going to use him now. He's been there for a while. Is it back to Love it, Murray? Short and not good. Allowing the Hawks in. Well done, McVeigh made a contest of it. Saw Richards, went in that direction. Can Ted keep it in? Thumping handball in the herd direction. James goes inboard, doesn't get the footy spinning too well, but Lovett ends up with it. He sees something he likes further afield in the form of Jason Johnson. The bounce is good for him. Will go inside the 50 beautifully to Hill. That was a bit easy, wasn't it? Love it. Start, he's playing the position a bit better this quarter, young Love it. He's starting pre to present with Crawford being a bit looser on him. So they've got to play through him, if that's the case. And Jason Johnson was able to run away from Jordan Lewis, set up Hill. This man's been OK in front of the big sticks today. Normally good, not on that occasion. And there's John O'Hay, I think, is going to be paid. No hodge. Gee, Matthew Lloyd placed himself in a poor position there. The ball was only ever going to go to that part of the ground if he missed. And he stood in the goal square, which it was to no avail because the ball would have carried the distance. It was bad positioning by a guy that would normally have that covered as Crowed. Great work. Gets it done at half forward. Look at the acceleration and delivery away. Dixon got the fingertippers there. It was a tough one, but it was gettable. Look out. Heard. Developing the game here, Bradley. Bombers just starting to get a taste of the ball. Jacobs has been good in the quarter with four marks. Kepler Bradley. One of the young guns for the Bombers. 
High ball on the head of Peveril, and over the top went the tall Taylor. Yeah, Brian, talk us through the Matthew Lloyd situation, where he should have been standing. Well, he should have been left of where he was. He should have been against that point post there, because the ball, if it wasn't going to... If it was going to be offline, it was only going to go to that pocket. And he elected to stand in the square where the ball should have easily gone over his head if it was a goal. That's what you get from the Centurion, oh. I tell you. You don't yes. kick 100 in a no. season, Gary, you without knowing your way around the forward line. Every inch of this ground he knows. This now, was listen. his home when he was at the Tigers <laughs> and Collingwood. Just ease up, you two. This end here wasn't his favourite. Normally down the punt road was where Big Brian got the job mm. done. That's where the faithful gathered. They loved him. Just a, a little basic thing that I'm sure he is aware of. Rees to bring it away. Vandenberg has a bounce, has a couple of bounces, in fact. Low left football. Miller's been OK, couldn't take it on that occasion. Slattery comes away with it. Into the centre. This is where they've just struggled a little to be clean, the Bombers. Johnson went without it. Goes back and wins it. He's wrapped up, and the umpire will bounce it. Yeah, you're exactly right, Jim. They have not been as clean through the middle. They had players on beyond that passage of play. If they were able to just take clean possession, they couldn't get it done. Windelick, Cartledge, Murphy and Bullen on the bench. Some run left in that bench for the Bombers if they want to use it. And here they come out of the middle. Hill spots up the lead of Watson, who was prominent early. Jacobs trailing. Got to get back far enough on the mark. Joe. Now the kick over the top. Lloyd falls. Lucas in front. Hay there as well. Crawford with the handball, but love it. Said, I want it. Look at him through traffic. The awareness, the skill. Now love it, Murray and Franklin hovering over the ball. This one will be back, given back to the umpire. Well, they're trying. They got their, their endeavours fine, the Bombers, but they just keep missing their targets at the moment. Jacobs just drops back into the hole as a loose player here. From the bounce, the Hawks will bring it away again through Hodge. That's not his best kick of the afternoon. He's thumped it down the throat of Dyson. Now to Hurd. He, a sense, has to really get involved in this game for the Bombers to get up. Windelick, low, nice. Lucas couldn't take it. Taylor, an emerging big man, goes to the outer side. Clark. Just manages to end on, end it. Handball back to Smith. Smith in board to Loney. Got Hodge and Vandenberg on. Vandenberg thumps it in the crow direction. Just couldn't take the fingertipper. Kepler Bradley lays it across the body. Lloyd a long way from home. Crawford tries to close him down. Lloyd held when he didn't have it, surely. He worked hard to get there, Crawford, and the 50 metre, and that, that's, that's silly of Lance Franklin. Oh, it is. Really silly. He had to know that was a Lloyd free kick. And that's the thing they're going to have to try and get out of their game. You see there, you should have let go, Shane Crawford, because he had Franklin in support. Probably didn't, wasn't fully aware that the ball had spilled free. And Franklin just kicked it. Now, Lucas on, on Roughhead, he, Roughhead looks like he's just labouring a bit. Should take him to the square here. Heard has got a couple to beat in the air and manages to do it. The superstar. They just need some ignition from this man, Gary. Yes, he's been unusually quiet. Eight kicks, no handballs for James Heard this afternoon. And that sort of sums up the Bombers' day a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's off the boil. He's off the boil as I've seen him for a while. Hodge breaks it up and gets it to Jacobs. You could see Heard indicating in the eyes that he wanted the young man to... Uh, to offer a lead and he'd give it to him. And I think that was a case of James just trying to help out a young guy and get him a touch or get him a goal even. In a game of great intensity and one of great meaning, I don't think he would have gone for that one. It's a Miller. motivation thing, isn't it, for Hurdy, who's yep. just a superstar, but what else can he achieve? Richards, look at this, love it in the pocket. Hodge has got to get there late, did. And did it legally, which was the important thing. Well done, he didn't panic in a difficult situation. This most composed player Sewell spots up Crawford who couldn't quite get oh, bad mistake the hands to it young Sewell here they go again the Hawks Stand. sending it forward Miller love it Murray arrives Miller the acceleration and recovery was nice Stanton buddy love banged him over Lucas who has not had a handball today very different from Hay who had 
all handballs, of course, the complete opposite. And by the way, throw in Matthew Lloyd there as well. He and Lucas, Gary, any reason for that, have had all kicks between them. I think about 15 yeah. between them and not one and, handball. And Matthew and uh, Hurd as well. He's had nine kicks. Um, no, can't find the reason. Ball thrown in. A rough head. Getting better and better. Rees. Out in front of Franklin. What about the afternoon this young man's having? Bit off more than he could chew on that occasion. Loney taking the ground. Crow tries to bang his way through. Loney over the top. Crawford can load up. He can keep it low. And he can kick it very, very straight. Well, he's been on from the word go today, Shane Crawford. He's had a stack of the footy. Rolling the dice a bit on his opponent, but he's moved on the foot. He's been half-back flank for most of the day, but this is a finish and a half. Look at this. That is one super finish. I mean, but the thing about Crawford is you know he'll be running as hard at the end of the game as he was at the start. Only two goals of this third quarter go with the Hawks. Game high margin of 25 points right now. And we've got five minutes remaining in the third quarter. The Bombers, Bradley. They had a lot of the ball in the last 10 minutes, the Bombers, but they haven't been able to convert that on the scoreboard. Dyson. On the left. Heard presents. Hay with him. Heard turned him inside out. This time he sends it. Another wobbly ball by James. Oh, Hell yeah. with a lovely grab. Nothing, Richie Vandenberg. He did all that was within his capabilities. That is just a super contested mark. As was this bit of play from James Heard. Have a look. Vandenberg, he does as much as he can here. That is a great mark. And uh, he's done well, Hill. Peter Everett's ruck work has been sublime at times, but Hill's willingness to push forward and be a target deep in attack has worked well for the Bombers. Third contested mark of the day for this man. He kicked the first two Bomber goals of the game. Here he is, Hill. Just a matter of 25 metres in it. Not a lot of angle about it. Should send it home, and he has. And finally, the Bombers get some reward. Hill's got three. And they're still close enough, the Bombers. 19 points. Just over four minutes in the third quarter. They haven't really hit their straps at all. But they're hanging in against the young Hawthorne side who have been pretty good this afternoon. That's the difference. Heard wins the one-on-one. -on -one. Something that Lucas has got to do. In fact, Ruffhead's now gone on to Heard, So that's a reward for effort. Important goal from Hill if the Bombers are going to be any chance in this game. He goes back into the centre to contest with Everett, who wins again. Down to Lewis. Edging it forward. Clark, look at Spider, follow it up. And extricated it out of there. Just missed with the handball to Loney. Goes back and gets it. Lots of room again to move. And the long ball forward. Off the fingertips of Lovett Murray. And Richards over the line. He and Franklin mix it up a little. The ball will be thrown in. The desperation that Lovett Murray's got to get into his game. That was a mark there to be taken in that back half. Danny Jacobs had a nice day with the Dukes. 11 marks for him in the back half for the Bombers. For the Hawks, in fact. Knocked down Loney on his non-preferred right around the body. Richards gets in front to take the uncontested mark in the end. Lovett Murray... A deliberate ploy to play him off the half-back line, getting a fair bit of run out of him, Gary. Yes, indeed. And uh, he's improved considerably over the year. Time running out here in the third for the Bombers. As Heard send one in the direction of Lucas. Front and centre for the Bombers. No win, though. Lucas may have infringed against Roughhead, and he has. Done well, Roughhead. Done really well. They tried to uh, take Lucas to the square, and then Hay just switched over and picked him up. Heard comes off for a spell. Need a big out last quarter effort from him. Lewis. Ooh. That's a dangerous ball into the centre and into a nest of bombers. Mark Johnson just stepped on through and then steered it in the Lloyd direction. Too strong. Campbell Brown. 
And Rees at the back. Kick. Crawford has just knocked up covering territory this afternoon. His ball forward, not his absolute best. Lovett can go back into the 50. Hill, the man, Roughhead comes in on him. Rees again, ruffy has got some work to do. It's broken up to Peveril. Peveril from 45 sets it up high. Line at the back. Takes a big, big mark. Super, super mark from Matthew Lloyd. He looked to be out of position on this occasion. What he did, what he does, Brian, he throws his body. Just nudged him yeah, forward a bit, didn't it? His body pushes Hay out, so he can't be given a free kick. But he was coordinated and balanced enough to still have the Dukes up to take the big strong mark. Has taken some of the very biggest contested marks in the biggest games and turned around and thumped it through in an awesome career for the Bombers. As well as the Hawks are going and as far ahead as they get, you can never write the Bombers off because of this man and Hurd and Lucas in particular. And there's the reverse angle. You'd almost slap your mortgage on it, Brian. Right through the middle. And the Bombers get one back. And that one would hurt the Hawks. Great news for the Bombers. 13 points as we head towards three-quarter time. The trend... Let's have a look at this, Mark. Just uh, the right knee just uses a bit of a... Just a just pushed, I reckon just pushed him the six inches out that yep. he needed to get it over yep. Hayes' fingertips. Yeah, that's all about timing. And Well, we're set up for a big last quarter. The trend of this game has always had Hawthorne re responding. Let's see what they can do. All right, well, here we go with the Bombers. They've kicked consecutive goals. They're within 13. We've got just under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hawthorne would not want to concede one oh. here. Hodge, the man, to get it done out of the middle. And the other man, Crow, oh. extending the arms and taking a fingertip. And I'm sure the runner standing nearby in the fluoro green has told him, go back, take the shot. Time is a ticking. What about the man with number one on his jumper for Hawthorne, Gary? Start seeing what he's doing in the centre oh, of the ground. I swear to goodness I said some of his palm work has been great. He's also been, he's had it put to him a bit by David Hill. Okay. Who's gone forward and kicked three goals. Doesn't on often acknowledge the tallest Won't of our players. Uh, Won't acknowledge him. No, no I've said on Gary. a number of occasions his ruck work has been sublime, I think is a word. at the accuracy rate here. It's not great. But I tell you what, boy, if it's needed now, oh. Trent for oh. oh. Crow has nailed that one home. Rick, he's had a sensational afternoon, Trent Crow. He, he really has played some terrific footy. Look at this. Here oh, he is, big spider. There we go, Brian. I called for that. The oh, fact that might, might have it. been cartilage that got the look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's, uh, look, he's the best in the business at the palming spider. It's been a good contest. Around the ground, Hill's probably uh, held sway. What an important goal. Oh, yes, your boy's been excellent, Brian. Let's take a look at the work of Big Spider here. See if he can conjure something up for the Hawks. Perfect bounce again from the umpire. Again, Spider finds Hodge with the tap this time. The clearance hard to come by for the Hawks. Handball from the ground, and he goes back and gets it again, Spider. But the... Uh, <laughs> Bombers had to work hard, and I think a free kick's been picked out. Yeah. It's going to go Reese's way. I'm not sure what for. In there, pushing the back. Nick Reese. Oh, he got one on out there. Clark still on. Goes no, wide to Jordan Lewis. Yeah. Lewis with the high ball forward. A marking player needed here for the Hawks. Taylor involved. Jason Johnson read it best. And end on ended it towards the line. Vandenberg's going to pick it up, though. Ritchie, the pocket dynamite. Tried to find Lekas. He was always under severe pressure. And I think Slattery's going to just cool the Bombers' jets here. Oh, oh no. no! Again, let the ball get over his oh, head. Oh, no. And the disputed rock out oh. here could end up with Campbell Brown. And there's the siren. Bombers have got plenty to do, Gary, in the final stanza. Well, well, Nathan Lovett. That's not the uh, that's not the passage of play you want to have just on the three-quarter time siren, but. He's got a quarter to redeem himself, that's for sure. The Bombers, the trend of the game is they get to with about two goals and then Hawthorne have always seemed to have the answers. Will they have the answer in the last quarter? We'll find out shortly. It's the Hawks, 14-11-95 over the Bombers, 12-4-76.
after. Big last quarter, boys. Of course, uh, I'm coming from a man who introduced himself to more square leg umpires than anyone ever in the game, Brian. <laughs> so we get the final term underway. A big run home for the Hawks and the Bombers. Hill won it down. Johnson tried to sneak a kick through. Stanton's been pretty good all day. Jason Johnson with the left boot, but the clearance will go with the Hawks. This man has just carved Essendon up. Hodge to uh, centre-half forward, but Murphy in the right spot's taking the mark. Hasn't, oh, ha hasn't had a lot of it today. Just his fifth touch for the game, Gary. Everett looking for a bit of running support, saying, come on, troops, when are you going to arrive and help me out? Love it, Murray. Getting it done from the half-back line today. The Bombers, they need to kick the first goal of this last quarter. And this is a positive start for them. Love it. Gary didn't like what he saw late in the third. And Bolton gets it out to Heard. Heard the standing start. Punt road in. When you want some magic, you go to the magic man himself. Jim Bob Heard. <laughs> well, Shane Crawford has been sensational. He has allowed Lovett to work up the ground all day, but then he's a loose man. He's got to go to this contest, or he's got to stay back on Hurd, who had got him to a bit of space. And he was caught in between on that occasion, and Hurd, good enough. Have a look at this, Jonathan Hay. Now, Jonathan Hay points to Jacobs to say, you go with him, Jacobs. And Jacobs says, no, Croft, you go with him. That, that is some great vision right there that um, Alistair Clarkson will be interested in. The superstar James Hurd. Gives the Bombers a sniff at the G. The centre has been the domain of the Hawks today, but this time Johnson high. And the mark dropped by Bolton. Ooh. Vandenberg gets it out wide. Lucas, a couple of don't argues. Around on the left. Long-ranging ball doesn't look accurate. Heard and Lloyd getting each other's way. And it's through for a behind. Well, Lloyd and Heard just gearing up a little bit here they pose the greatest challenge you know that Johnson will keep going and Stanton and these boys oh the big boys just getting themselves up for a big last quarter here they are the biggest names at Bomberland and they've all figured in this opening two minutes of the last quarter there's one of them Lucas Roughhead Campbell Brown been reported for an earlier scrimmage just near half time remember four weeks he got Line in the sand game last year. Loney, Murphy, Mark Johnson, Bombers controlling the opening stages here in the third. That's an advantage. Bomb away. Welsh setting up a handball. Needed a good bounce. Yeah. Murphy didn't get it. And this allowed Sewell to come through and tidy up for the Hawks. Jacobs, who's been good, squares it up to Hodge. Oh, you're great. Right. Crowed all on his own. He can go all the way. Can't believe the room given to the athlete Crow. Long forward, Taylor in best position. Taylor sticks the jukes up <laughs> and takes a brilliant mark. Oh, there's something to be said. Where did he kick? Where did that ball go to, Brian? Top of the square, Gary. Almost to the absolute white of the top of the square, where there's a big man parked. And all he has to do is contest. If he marks it, it's a bonus. If he doesn't, there's some crumbs. Look at this. Look at this. That is the way it should be played. It is a beautiful mark by the big man. Branded a giraffe oh, earlier who? in the day by Brian Taylor, sure, Big Taylor. Not. But he has done the job at the top of the square on this occasion. And young Simon from Tassie. And then Box Hill can steer the Hawks into very good shape in this final term. Directly in front. And he's got it for number three. I asked you about that duel earlier on there, Gary, and you didn't think it would be important in the context of the game. Well, no, I didn't say that. I said that he hasn't been historically strong in the air. Maybe he's been doing some work on it, but this is a contested mark of the highest order. Or maybe Ted Richards is not your Dustin Fletcher type. That uh, goes without saying. Three goals to the big man, Taylor. It's allowed Spider Everett to do his stuff in the middle. It's been a big win there for the Hawks. The Hawthorne box, Alistair Clarkson happy with what he's seen, especially out of Taylor, the tall man up forward. Damien Hardwood at the back of the box, his first year as an assistant down there at Hawthorne. 
Out of the middle. Bombers all eyes on the ball. Stanton. A real good improving young man. Watson and Bolton can raffle it. Bolton has a good time to sum up his options. Drilling ball on the lead. Lloyd couldn't get this. Kept his feet. Comes to Mark Johnson. Turns around to the punt road in. It'll be a goal. Great response from the Bombers. It is back on here at the MCG. Yes, and those centre clearances, which are so critical. You might think that it has been dominant in favour of the Hawks, but it's actually 15-12, and the Bombers are just starting to win their share. Out of the middle. And the bounce of the ball there is a little bit unkind. But I don't reckon the Bombers have enjoyed the bounce of the ball too often this today either. So they just got to keep working at it, Essendon. Working, Mark Johnson would love to celebrate a victory in his 150th game. Can the old master conjure up something here? Mark Harvey talking to him. Ball in the centre of the ground again. Hodge has been simply breathtaking in this part of the ground. And the umpire wants the footy back. Trent Crowe's got Andrew Welsh as his opponent. Now that is a uh, big mismatch in height. McVay gone down on a Dixon. Umpires have bounced the ball beautifully today. Stanton hooked it out of there. Spiders worked very hard, as has this man Crawford. Handball to Vandenberg. Croft gets it back. Now Clark. They throw the ball around a little. Crawford again with the footy. This time in the Dixon direction. McVeigh with him off hands and a boundary throw in. Yeah, well, you like the set up for the Hawks if they can get it forward. They just might hold some sway there. The other end, Hurd now gone to the goal square. Hayes picked him up. Lloyd's come out with Jacobs on him. And Lucas is out at half forward with Roughhead. A two-goal game with lots of time in the last remaining. Hill and Taylor at it. Mark Johnson was being held. Murphy, Lewis, Dixon, Swift hands Loney on his preferred left. Franklin Crow! Oh! Oh, 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 Hang on oh, oh, a minute. Oh, oh. Oh, this man oh. is just knocked up getting it done today. Jukes. The Jukes have been, well, there are 11 times they've wrapped their hands around it. I'm not sure whether Brian's been down there doing some he work. Must have been going. I don't know, but I'm, I have not seen this excited since oh. Leon. 11 marks for this man, Gary. That's why I'm excited. <laughs> and also, just etch in three goals next to this man's name. Well, it's the mismatch that we in, just indicated earlier. Andrew Welsh has not got the size to go with him, which also tells you how undermanned they are at the moment, the Bombers. But that's why they should attack the square as well, because they've got this advantage physically in the air. And with Crowd on Welsh, it mightn't be a bad time to slide him down to the goal square, but by jolly, he's been a very good player. You have to go a long way back into the 90s, Brian, to stumble across the last time Essendon were beaten by Hawthorne. This has been a long-running saga, and it looks like the Hawks are going to notch one up. Lewis around the body to half forward. Mark dropped, and Johnson back there can pick it up. To the outer side, the kick was good. I don't think the Bombers are out of it by yeah. any means, All James. All right, Brian, over the top, Watson to love it. I reckon Joe Watson has moved the footy as well as any of uh, the Essendon's forwards. Tried to sell some and did do it, love it. <laughs> now he's gone with the steering ball, but it was away to the right-hand side. I think the mark's been paid to Jacobs. So no score. Spiders on the move. And the Hawks can bring it out the other side through Loney. Took a bounce. Went with the ball just as he was being grabbed, and they cough it up. Hill. Can they make him pay the Bombers? Lucas! Courage and awarded with the mark. Now this is 60 metres out, just a little bit beyond even Scotty Lucas. He plays on, gets it to the top of the square. The sit is good. Lloyd, oh. work position. Bolton there as well. Now Lloyd oh. has his chance. Here's Lovett through traffic. Kept his eye on the ball that time. Well done, young man. But the Hawks, Brazilian in defence, although the Bombers have got the numbers out wide. Slattery. Gives it off to Hurd. Hurd once again sets it up in the hot spot. No one home. But the Hawks fight. And Roughhead 
wins. Well, he's had a good win over Scott Lucas. Rough head had a very good afternoon. And Sewell on herd early in the piece, we should mention as well. He did a very good job. Hodge just trying to find something he likes the look of. Eventually goes to John O'Hay. Must handball and does. <laughs> Jacobs gets out of the Lloyd tackle. Tumbles it in on end to the outer side. Smith, beautiful to Loney. Loney streaming down the wing. And look at Harry Miller. Just come on. Just come on the ground. Oh, he had fishy. Clark cold, but he's gone long to Taylor. Ball's going to bounce in front of the big man. Yeah. And Ted Richards concedes. You wonder how, I know he's only a young man, but you wonder how he could miss someone like Tim Clark sitting inside 50 with not an opponent near him. Jonathan Hay up the other end with a handball. He's had nine today, no kicks. His papers have been marked never to kick it, ever. Won't kick it, Brian. Maybe similar to Mickey Martin in his career early, or Presty now. But just refuses to kick the ball and has had nine handballs today. Welsh wide, got to attack it, young Richards. Half back, the Bombers build. Here they go. They need to get the next oh. one, the Bombers. That's downfield, so that'll be a Watson free. Needs to sit for five minutes, says Lance Franklin. He's made a couple of blues. He gave that 50-metre penalty away when he shouldn't have, and that doesn't help anyone's cause. Lloyd is setting Hay up for the short lead here. There it is, and there it is on. And Watson will go. Kick wasn't quite what it should have been. Around the body. Now Hill's there, and so is Taylor. And he marks Big strongly man. in defence and plays Just on. played a powerful brand of footy as Big Taylor. As the Hawks go down the outer side, the bouncing footy, love it, Murray's got to run at it. Picks it up, got Franklin pressuring him and doing it well. Over the top, but evade standard, well done, Franklin. Banged in and won the footy. Went with the handball towards the line. And Dyson sees it over. Well, Lance Franklin down there just redeemed himself a bit. A couple of great first and second efforts if he can get rid of those little silly things brian i know he's only young that's the one you're referring to wasn't uh polax in contact yeah, it was pretty kick. obvious down the grounder and it's going to go to spider everett right now this is where the hawks have got trent crowed in the goal square one out with welsh no one should come down. Now, Taylor. Look at that. Now, Lance, uh, Buddy Franklin, yeah. he should just move out Run of away, Lance. Run right away. And so, sh so should Dixon. Yeah, Benny Dixon, he should start about 15 metres up the ground. Oh, Lance, uh, oh, Buddy Franklin has done has brought another man in there. One out. Crowd was actually okay. telling him to go then. Well, here comes uh, Dixon on the lead, and that's just too good. The body position was fantastic. The kick from Spider was fantastic. Get some... Beautiful skill. And that's, you know what's silly about that? Mark McVeigh. He's got four players behind him, including two of his teammates. He should have gone and stood. The only place that Ben Dixon could have taken that mark on Mark McVeigh was on a lead. He wasn't going to kick it over his head. He should have stood five metres in front of him. This to make it a 25-point ball game. And make it tough for the Bombers. Ben Dixon has four on the afternoon. This is a big kick for him and his club. And he never really got it spinning the right way. And a behind makes it a 20-point ball game. 11 minutes, 11 and a half minutes, still plenty of time here. Bombers have got to attack, four take some risks. Four goals, three today for Ben Dixon. Love it, Murray played onto the wrong side then. Gary had nothing on offer. He didn't actually think about what he was doing. And now he's got himself into a real oh bind. Has to just lob it long. Mark Johnson! Oh. A saving grab. Welsh. Stanton. I know they've got to play on at all costs, but have something in mind when you do. Off. That's the one up the middle they've got to go. Love it. Handball. Here he is, Winderleck. Can present it forward. Lucas is on the lead. It's a little too high for him. Gave his back man a challenge. Oh, here's Hay. Will he kick it? Will he kick it? Will he kick it? He's had nine handballs, no oh. kicks. <laughs> there it is, and that's why he doesn't kick it. Oh, no. Oh, Ruffy. boy. Lloyd was closing. Ruffy did a beautiful job. Got it to Jacobs. And his kick is nice. Crawford's been very good. Over the top to Young, who's just come on the ground. 
can pick the footy up and he can go. Good shepherd from Crow kicks it into the champion herd though, does Young. Well, I think he thought to himself, I've watched James Hearn play for a long, long time. Just kick it into him and tackle him, and then I can go home and tell Mum and Dad that I've got the hands on the great man. Well, do you think that's what he was thinking, do you, Gary? Uh, probably not, was it? Probably not. Bounce of the ball just outside the forward 50 for the Hawks. Spider won it forward. Crowd went without it. Jason Johnson. And a disputed ball again, and we'll have another bounce. Still plenty of time here. Indeed, just under 10 minutes, Gary, and that margin just the even 20 as we speak. They go Bradley, McVeigh had to get rid of it quickly, but this is not good for the Bombers because it's going to come back. Brown, quickly under the boot. Beautiful ball, finds his man there in Lekas. So long and quick. From 52 to the top of the square, they've got the tall timber. Here's Everett! The match-winning mark. You feel, and Spider from the top of the square, perfect kick, Angelo Lekas. Well, I'm just trying to work out who his direct opponent is at the moment. I reckon it might even be Kepler Bradley that's gone into the ruck. So Spider says to himself, now is the time for me to get into the goal square. Have a look at that, do. That's doing plenty out front. As Spider lines up to kick the goal. Yes, that is a good effort from Peter Everett. He's worked super hard today. Good decision by Lekas to get it in long and quick. Put the pressure on the defenders. And I've got to say, Ted Richards and Bradley are still learning the craft. Kept, um, Love it, Murray. You've got to go there. Someone's got to go. Love it, Murray. Off the back of the pack there. Got to go. Can't just stand down. If it looks like it's a, going to be a mark like that, you just go. Twenty-six point lead for Hawthorne. Nine minutes and twenty seconds left on the clock. They cannot concede another one. Rees worried out of it. Heard trying to do it on his own. Got it back to Peveril. He just pumps it in long hill with a good climb. Lloyd dangerous in this situation. Very, very dangerous. And he's got another one. Sure, always getting booed, Matthew Lloyd, to be honest. But it, the whole pattern of this game is that Essendon get back to about 11 points, 12 points, and then the Hawks kick away and the Bombers come back. They haven't been able to get it under the, well, I suppose the 10-point margin. If they were able to do that, who knows? They haven't. They certainly haven't gone away, and they will keep coming. But the Hawks have had the answers on most occasions. Matthew Lloyd with three goals today. And I tell you what, Gary, he's kept his feet well today. I haven't seen him go over once today, Matthew Lloyd. Always kept himself in the contest. The Hawks go forward. Dixon, Everett, Richards has now got to do it. Love it, Murray's there. Here's Richie, the skipper. Didn't get good purchase on the snapping ball. A good decision by Al Clarkson to put Peter Everett down in that goal square. T Taylor been down there for most of the game. Presented some problems. Let's go down to the ground where Chris Jones is. Just the reason Matthew Lloyd's getting booed, he actually got uh, Campbell Brown right in front of the Hawks cheer squad there, and they're still not happy with him. Yeah, we had a look at that. I'm not sure there's... Uh, that was just um, sort of blindsided in lots of ways. Not sure there's much in that at all. Love it, Murray. Got it to Bolton. Here is Matty Lloyd. And flies against three of them. Taylor at ground level. Crawford. Good kick. And this man, what an afternoon he's had. Trent. 20 possessions. Kick forward, not his absolute best. Lands at the feet of Dixon. Did well to keep the footy in. Rees involved. Johnson involved. And the umpire wants the ball. Bit of revenge on offer here. Let's go round three early in the year. This goal awarded to Dean Solomon there. Jeff Geeshan, the umpire's advisor, has come out and said that was a mistake clearly there. Jonathan Hay was the player. Two points the margin at the end of that day. So this would be a nice little uh, return serve for the Hawks. Oh, they're in control at the moment. Free kick, I think, off the ball to Mark Johnson, who was banged into the turf in his 150th game. 
Like he's had a recent bout of the old bleach. Uh, well, a milestone game, Jim. You'd have to get a touch up. Just through the shag, Brian, to get him looking at his absolute best. Love it, Murray has it on the outer side. They need quick ball movement forward. Stanton. Moving to the number 24, made famous by Smoke and Joe Mercedes. High to half forward. Again in the air, Lloyd's got lots to beat. Brown was terrific. Three kick spider, I reckon. Peter Everett. Lloyd believes he was pushed into the man in front. Campbell Brown's got cramped. The umpire's come up and said, get on with it. And Brown, he said, give me a break, mate. Oh, what a great mark from Campbell Brown. Just too busy looking at the free kick. Kick sideways. A wonderful mark it was. And here, a ripping tackle by the bleached bombshell. Number one for the Bombers and the Hawks box. Not happy about that opportunity letting slip. Probably his first mistake, Ruffy. Jared Ruffhead. And sometimes you've got to know your opposition. And this bloke, Mark Johnson. Johnson over tackles. the top goes short and finds Stan. And now he is definitely within range. 35 metres out directly in front. He'll kick the goal too, Brian. He'll bring the margin back to 15 Ooh. points. He will. And the game on again. It is. Plenty of time, Gary. Plenty. Stanton is going to go here for his second. And the Bombers, if the, the game is riding on this, make no mistake, Stanton must kick the goal. There's no ifs, buts. This may be his third, in fact. In he comes. He has sent it home. It's there for the Bombers. And they're back in this game, and the Hawthorne box know it. 15 points. This is, again is the trend. Uh, if it is to continue, that's what I was saying about knowing your opposition. A great tackler, Mark Johnson. Jared Ruffhead, as his experience comes on, this is the reaction of the Hawthorne box. Well, I'll tell you, that answers your questions about whether they want to win the game yeah, or not, Gary. No question about that. That is uh, why it is a bemusing situation we find ourselves in. Stanton's been a good player, three goals. Trend says Hawthorne get the next one. Great tackle from Mark Johnson. Sets up the Stanton goal, and the Bombers are still in it. Oh. But look at Spider. Out of the middle to Lewis. Oh. Sticks it down the throat of Crowd. And Big Spider just needs some accolades, Gary, because his work has been sensational. Let me be the one to tell you that was just beautiful work. That is a joy to look at. That is clear centre bounce clearance. Lewis got there at the right time. It's all about understanding. Look at Lewis take off. And it's about mm. touch, too. Sam Ruckman Not haven't got the hard. touch yet. Yeah. And Spider has. And this man, Crow. If you oh. thought Sam Newman was anywhere near a television screen, which he won't be because Sunday afternoons he does other things, but he would have just been enjoying that. Crow. Not straight, oh. however. Oh, yeah. And he's let the Bombers off the hook, Brian. Oh, yes, he has indeed. What about Crody's afternoon, Bryzer? 22 disposals, 13 marks. Ten times he's whacked it inside 50. Three goals, two, and two within range were kicked into the man on the mark. Ball back in for the Bombers. Richards, wonderful mark running in the same direction as the ball. You just get this feeling about the Bombers' next goal here. And it's on. Winderlich takes them on, runs his full oh. journey. Here's Mark Johnson. Watch him elevate high. Oh, Jacobs, rock solid. Oh, yeah. Been good, Jacobs. Kick not great, however. Clark can make it good. Vandenberg, they need some clear thinking and some ball control here, the Hawks. That was very nice. Rees going forward. Sticks it up high in the oh. air. Good luck marking that. Bolton comes in from the side. Unable to take it. Johnson was good. Stanton's going to have to go hard. Here comes Young. Over the top to Clark. Bolton again walks into a heap of trouble. Dixon, the tumbling forward ball. Oh. Slapped out of there by Ricky Dixon was Holy okay. Oh, Love no. it, Murray can't control it. Taylor just falls on top of it. Rees goes back and gets it. Some tired boys concedes by hand to Loney. Left foot shot from Nathan Loney. Up nice and high. No mark taken, and I think Bradley in the back is going to be paid. Oh, Nathan Lovett Murray is out on his feet, boys. He is absolutely oh. stonking. They've got the loose on here. 
Watson's on. Peveril go inboard, though. It's risky. Finds Jason Johnson. He's got out wide. Watson, here he is. Now Watson on the centre wing. Bombers closing on goal. Kick needs to be good in front of Hurd. He had to stop and prop and wait. Very good, this boy. Been very good this afternoon, Brad Sewell. Hawthorne, next couple of games, the Tigers and the Swans. Their chance is here today, make no mistake about it, the Hawks. They've got this one in the bag with 4.22 to go if they can just play some conservative football from here on in. But if the Bombers can keep getting the loose ball like that, here's Lloyd looking to... Over the line, out of bounds, and that'll be a boundary throw in. Oh, the umpires let it go! No, no, it's coming back. Oh, thank goodness for that, Gary. Oh, goodness me, Brian. Oh, goodness, goodness gracious me. That would have been a bad blue. That clearly went over the line. That was definitely in the Wayne Harms area. <laughs> so the ball will be thrown in. Need a goal here, the Bombers, right now. Gary O'Donnell chewing the gum hard. Hill and Everett and Hodge. Oh. What sort of an afternoon's he pieced together? 35 disposals for Luke Hodge, Gary. Career high in actual fact, Jim Bob, and... He, 21 bucks for the Brownlow going into today. I don't know if they've won enough games, but that's the Bombers. They play, if they win today, they'll play the 16th team two weeks in a row, boys. Now, if they go down today and they go down to the 16th place Bombers, that is, uh, Blues, that is not a good year. Johnson. In the end, Welsh. Left foot's it high. Mark needed here. Spider goes back with the flight. Can't take it. Look at the Hawks' numbers in the back half. Smith. Again, Hodge, that's number 36 for him. Dixon just tumbles it straight to Hurd. Hurd centres the footy. Big fly from about four Hawks, but Stanton had his head over it. Lloyd banged into Hay. And again, the ball in dispute. The umpire lets it go for a long time before bouncing it 20 out from the Essendon goal. All right, well, here we are. Crunch time now. Time is ticking away for the Bombers. They must convert in this passage of play. Everett up. Got a chance. That's a high tackle. That'll be a goal. Oh, mind because he's it. 20 metres out directly in front. That was a high bump, Gary. And but, Winderlich will take it. Well, they need to get up and go back and slot this one through. All of a sudden, then, the margin. Back to 10 points. Gee, was it in the head? Was it on the side? Either well, way, it's irrelevant because the umpire paid it. Big kick here. Three minutes still on the clock. Game still alive, Brian. Three in a row and offer for the Bombers here. Gary. Here is Winderlich. Must kick the goal. Comes in. Oh, missed it. That is a miss. That's a miss big time. Miss of the year. Gee whiz. That is a disappointing miss too. Oh, and he knew it off the boot. And look at a couple of the uh, Hawks get around him. Just let him know all about it. That might be any chance whatsoever. This guy, Danny Jacobs, has some sort of afternoon. We saw last week, Gary, the Kangaroos come back from the dead. Can the Bombers mount something still? Jacobs to Everett and Hill. Good oh, mark. Been very good. Just been a tower of strength. Goes to Crow. This time he's beaten for it by Bolton. Time ticking away. They need it down there quickly, the Bombers. Dyson. Down the line to Hurd. Can he conjure something? Good mark. Further afield, Joe Watson. Been all right, I reckon, Joe Watson. That's been OK. Call to go now as he's run right around. Steers the low one in. Oh, no, not good. No. Well, they can't. Got no one to blame but themselves to try and sort of mount that last charge. They've just made too many mistakes. Don't really deserve to win, you wouldn't say. The Hawks certainly do. They've led all day. Hawthorne coming up here with win number five, Gary, with two remaining. And don't know whether they'd want that other one, but their <laughs> players have played like they want everyone possible here today. Dyson, love it. McVeigh sharing the ball, the Bombers. Sizzling ball to Peveril. True centre wing. A drawing run. Stanton. Awareness was good. Peveril had to get rid of it. Kepler Bradley round the body. And this will give the Hawks possession again, something that they will enjoy. And I think this time they won't be in attacking mode. 
and they'll just use the clock. Yeah, a little bit of breathing space there. They can breathe a bit easy up in the Hawthorne coaching box. Al Clarkson. Good job. They've run the Bombers off their legs today. They have, to be fair, Gary, controlled the game. They have all day. The Hawks yep. have had more scoring shots. They deserve to win the game. More of the, footy, more of the footy. They've got the best four players or even more on the ground. 71 more disposals, which is a lot. They do play possession-type footy, but they have been very good. Lewis high. Love it. Murray trying to go high. Gave away a free. I'm not sure that was a percentage play from Nathan Lovett Murray at this stage of the game. Let's hope he's okay. Got crunched for his trouble. And landed on his shoulder, did he not? Oh, we'll have a look at it, Gary. Yeah, oh, no. Young coming in, laying a hip into him. Whatever occurs, it's a Hawthorne ball. Back to Jared Ruffhead. And here's uh, Hayes, been forced to kick a couple of times, Brian, and this time it's good yep. to Jacobs. And the Hawks for win number five. Been a very nice performance from a club that's been on the ropes. In fact, on the canvas, you could say. Rees, handball forward, picked up by Sewell. He goes high in the Smith direction, and that's a nice saving mark. For the Bombers across halfback taken by Kepler Bradley. Indeed, Winderlich, Dyson, Lucas, Loney clobbered him. In the meantime, the ball has fallen in the hands of Bullen. He says, Come on, boys, give me something. Lloyd's a long way up. Matty Lloyd today, three goals. Oh, look at this. Love it. And Murphy can raffle it. And Love it, who kicked the goal in the opening quarter, will line up and probably kick this one through after the siren. Although the ump stops the clock, but just that one, Winderlich, Winderlich, Winderlich kick now becomes costly. I know that you can't isolate them, but he kicks his goal. The Hawks have won the game here and win number five. And the kicking late in this one, not what it should have been from the Bombers. But don't hold anything back if you're a Hawthorne fan here. You have recorded your fifth victory of the year. Campbell Brown has been reported, and he is in some trouble. He might be, but that won't be on his mind at the moment. They should enjoy a hard-fought victory, the, the Hawks. In the end against their arch rival, first time in a long time. Hawthorne by 13 points, 17-15, 117. The Bombers, 16-8, 104.